Is it good? It didn't do anything? It didn't do anything? Okay. Well, maybe it's not good cannon. Maybe you're gonna die. <laughs> oh. Alright, well, first test. First test failure. First test failure. Oh. Okay. Good morning, everybody. Dirty Jesus. Catching a cloudy, but I think, let me see that though. Yeah, I think you got that. There's like, there's gorgeous little touches in there. Gorgeous little touches in there. Man, this is, uh, this is unlike <laughs> December that I'm used to, that's for sure. Uh, climate change. There's been changes to the climate. <laughs> um, so, so one of, I recently, recently was speaking to a disciple and he was saying all this nice stuff and he was like, oh my God, it's such a good message. And it seems like you really touched me and I was like, just sort of get lost in what you were saying and realized blah, 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 blah. Thank you. Thank you. Be a disciple. Being a disciple. <laughs> It involves a lot of like <clears throat> work on your end. It has nothing to do with me. You know what I mean? Like being a follower of a God, a larger power, an entity that tries to bring us towards a greater sense of peace. That requires a lot of work on your end. I'm glad you like the message. But but what they did say also is they were like, I'm, I'm, I'm worried though that you talk a little bit too much about pornography. And at the time. I, maybe, 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 but if you don't mind, if I could, I'm going to read from the uh, Gospel of Jesus Christ Superstar for a second, just a second, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, okay, so Judas says to Jesus, it seems to me a strange thing, mystifying, oh this is like, he's messing around like Mary's washing his feet, Mary Magdalene parent process, who knows, who knows, loose woman, we don't know, we don't know, we know that Jesus' mother was a loose woman, we learned that, so what does it matter, anyways, it seems to me a strange thing mystifying that a man like you can waste his time on women of her kind, yes, I can understand that she amuses, but to let her stroke you, kiss your hair, is hardly in your line. It's not that I object to her profession, but she doesn't fit in well with what you teach and say. It doesn't help us if you're inconsistent. They only need a small excuse to put us all away. And then Jesus jumps in, musically, but I'm not gonna say, who are you to criticize her? Who are you to despise her? Leave her, leave her, let her be now, leave her, leave her, she's with me now. If your slate is clean, then you can throw stones. If your slate is not, then leave her alone. I'm amazed that men like you can be so shallow, thick, and slow. There is not a man among you who knows a prison cover Okay, then he's talking about himself. Um. I think I'm fascinated. I think, I think pornography. Pornography, which I think means um, the right of graphy, like drawings of prostitutes or writings about prostitutes. That's what pornography means. Um, 
I'm particularly, I'm still fascinated. I'm, I'm, I'm unwilling to let it completely go. Sure, we can talk about other topics, but love and sex are intertwined, aren't they? Like, like you can't have sex with everything you love, but um, you can love something better through a communal physical experience with it. And sex education, I feel like for most everybody now, not even just sex education, like like sexual boredom, or like rather than going out and meeting people, like sex in pornography is this simple, easy way just to get off. It's a and and, and gets you off into spaces of sort of aggressive fantasy that are not. Oh, good, 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 good. Uh, aggressive fantasy that are not necessarily realistic or reflective of, you know, the, the physical experience of the human. It's like, yeah, it's like people who like to, like, jump on a trampoline every now and then when there's a trampoline there and they enjoy it. And then this fucking crazy acrobats. So it seems like a lot of the people in pornography are these sexual acrobats. And most of us just like to jump on the trampoline every once in a while. But because of the ubiquity of pornography on the other side. Okay, so we're gonna let this alright, we'll let that one. It's gonna hurt. That's gonna hit. The ubiquity of pornography is I think confusing people as to what constitutes normal or productive or what, what, sexual sexual exploration has I think taken on an accelerated rate because of the specific types of stuff that's presented in pornography. And do I like to do almost any of the things there? No, no, I'm just dirty Jesus. It's just my thoughts, right? Just my thoughts that are dirty and my hands. Um, and sometimes my room. Um, it's... By not discussing it, by pushing anything away, by pretending to not want to pay attention to something that's happening around you and that impacts society in a way, I don't care good, bad, whatever, just a way, if you push it, if you push it away, Scientists, this is when the sun is at its weakest. I guess bottom line is like I'm not willing. I'm not willing to not discuss. Like I don't know. The person was also like, it seems like your message could reach a lot of people, but with this topic, it might turn some people away. So I don't know. I feel like the like my conclusion a couple days later that I've drawn from that is that like I have to work harder. To, I have to, I do want, I don't want, I don't know, how many disciples, how many disciples does one need? How many disciples do you have, and then after that point, then you start to have followers, and then followers are not fucking thinking for anything, you know? I don't know. It's like, like, I'm, like speaking to a lot of atheists lately, they've been like, oh man, like I, yeah, no, I really, I really think Jesus was an amazing person, I just don't like anything to do with the church, and it's like, yeah. Exactly. That's why I'm back. I'm back to remind everybody <laughs> that that religion doesn't speak for spirituality, and 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 God is not the gender term that all the fucking crazy men who gerrymander gerrymander is a way too anachronistic term <laughs> uh, manipulated the teachings for their own benefit. So don't just fall into atheism because you're angry at a patriarchal system of power because that is not the essence of what was taught a thousands of years ago, my previous time on this planet, and it's not supposed to be the message now. The real message, the, the, the pressing message right now is that we can, we can all kill ourselves. We can, we can end this whole beautiful experiment 
in very little time. And, and that's, I, I don't know. I don't know what the people in power want. They want to keep building bombs. They want to keep using the bombs. And they want to keep making more money. And they want to continue doing disservice to the earth which gave them life and which, which could easily sustain us if we could choose to live differently. But they don't, but to choose to live differently means to shift the, like, did the horizon move? Where did that go? To shift the, um, they, they can't shift the conversation away from money because money is all they understand and it's the incredibly fallible way in which they think that they maintain power. <laughs> Fucking money. Again. Money and prostitutes. So I will continue, I think, to discuss pornography. Or discuss just the that that space that we're not supposed to think in. That space that is just this like, oh, oh, oh the porn on, I'm going to masturbate, I'm going to watch it, or I'm going, I'm going to fantasize, I'm going to anything. You're just the same way that your spiritual self should be wrapped day to day, minute to minute, nanosecond to nanosecond into the conduct of your life. So should the respectful understanding of yourself as a sexual being, a being of pleasure and sometimes but not always procreation and, um, and, and, and sharing stimulation with others. That, that doesn't need to be in the corner. It doesn't need to be something that you only know how to acquire through like online dating, that you don't know how to see someone in the real world and see your energy is possibly connected with theirs and go and approach them and meaningfully say something and hopefully it's meaningfully received and then God knows what happens. No, everything's now intermediated with this with technology so that people are on Tinder trying to find people and everyone's trying to find people and oh yeah, so I'm a okay Cupid thinks I'm gay. I don't know why. I don't know. I think I said I said I was asexual. So now guys are all on to me. And so now I'm watching a different you know, this is gay males, so I assume they're being far nicer to me than the experience that I've heard that women have from straight men. It's like the technology breeds a disgusting amount of irresponsibility. Especially when the sex like that sex part of people's brain goes off because I think the sex part of people's brain is poisoned by really bad, aggressive, rapist pornography. So we do have to keep talking about pornography. Is I guess the point. In scripture, scripture confirms. Scripture confirms. Okay, we're back. Um, on that note, it has recently been decided that the pornography convention that I was going to go to to become a star, well, we're not going, it's too expensive, one. And, like, I realized that, I realized that I'm fresh, I'm fresh to this, to this world, I'm fresh to, to saying hi to the internet and all that kind of stuff, so I don't, I didn't want to come across as, like, a carnival, I, I don't know, I felt like I might come across as a carnival trick, or, uh, it, I I don't need to rush anything. I don't I don't need to rush my message to the world of pornography just yet. I'll just say it. I'll just say it. I, I won't I won't start I won't preach preach in their den just yet. Or I would, but like I don't understand why you need so many thousands of white dollars for me to preach to your den. Mm. All right. This was, this was good. I was happy. Yesterday I missed it. I missed it. But like, I had had like a combined like four hours of sleep the whole weekend. So the fact that I was up, like, I don't know. I don't know. I think the responsibility issue is, is the responsibility to the sunrise is big. I think I also need to be responsible to others. Like, I gotta get this fucking phone thing worked out. Like, I want to hear from other people's sunrises. How's your sunrise going? That's important. It's really, really important. All right, that's gonna keep getting jammed behind clouds. So, all right, let's call this. Let's call this a lovely day. Um, and so today you have like almost no sunrise. Like not sunrise, sorry. Today is like getting close to the shortest day of the year. So you have less sunrise than you would normally have. So 
don't be upset by it. Just realize that a minute isn't 60 seconds. A minute is whatever you is whatever you desire it to be. Accomplish more in the minutes. Accomplish meaningfully in the minutes. Don't worry about your checklist. Don't fulfill anything on your bucket list. Just see the day as something to, see the day as a pale. No, <laughs> uh, fuck it. Okay, meaning, I don't know. I don't need to add another metaphor to that. That's stupid. Okay, um, be well and, uh, and love non-pornographically. Bye.